President Barack Obama is not a great negotiator. Many liberals say he caved to Republicans in their demand that tax cuts be extended for the rich. He gives in too easily, says Democratic Congressman Anthony Weiner of New York. Capitulation, says liberal MSNBC host Keith Olbermann. Obama is not as bad a negotiator as they say, but it is true that he's seldom been able to match the promise of his campaign when his zoring rhetoric and ability to sway voters suggested he might do the same in Washington. The key reason may have more to do with his office and his times than with the man. The truth is that on major issues, there's little any president can do to convince a member of Congress to change firmly held positions. George Edwards, a scholar of the presidency at Texas A&M, says he is not a great persuader. He says, of Obama, he's just one in a long line. They never persuade. It never works. Like many new presidents, he came in thinking he could. But what about Lyndon Johnson? Johnson's considered the model of presidential wheeling and dealing with Congress. A former Senate Majority Leader, Johnson knew how Congress worked and he muscled a breathtaking liberal agenda, including Medicare and civil rights legislation, through Congress in 1964 and 65. More than changing votes, Johnson saw that he had a moment of opportunity to push his Great Society agenda through Congress. Similarly, Edwards said, Franklin D. Roosevelt seized the chance when he called Congress into special session in 1933. He saw that it would give him almost anything he wanted then he kept Congress in session for a hundred days to enact what became the bedrock of the New Deal. Edwards adds, quote, None of them are remarkable persuaders. There are many more important things that affect how a member of Congress votes, especially when ideology is as important as it is today. Edwards summed it up this way. He said, The essence of presidential leadership is not persuasion. The essence of leadership is seeing an opportunity and seizing it. This is Steve Thoma, White House correspondent for McClatchy Newspapers.